everyone and welcome back to the happy heart i'm so glad that you guys came over today to see my refrigerator freezer and pantry tour uh on one of the videos somebody commented that they would like to see this and it was one of the grocery hauls so if you guys don't know i do grocery hauls i do lifestyle videos i do cleaning videos so if you're interested in any of that go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications i usually try to upload content about three to four times a week and i'm getting it out there as fast as i can make it for you guys so let's just get into the tour if you guys are new here and haven't seen any of my cleaning videos i'll go ahead and link them above but i usually clean this with the wayman stainless steel cleaner and I have two door refrigerator on top and a freezer on the bottom. So I'll show you what's inside. The doors open pretty easily. And voila, that is the inside. Okay guys, so we'll just start and go through everything. I usually keep um, butter in this Pioneer Woman butter dish. I have some, a little bit of macaroni salad for um, dinner tonight we're having some fried chicken and macaroni salad I have two things of Greek yogurt a cherry and a strawberry and these are the light and fit and I really like the strawberry I'm trying out the cherry on the second shelf here as you can see I have like three shelves on this side or four I guess and then I have kind of just a one shelf on this side. So on my second shelf, I bought some guacamole yesterday while I was at the store for tacos this week. And then these are actually tamales. My neighbor makes tamales, if you can see. And they are amazing. Ryan buys his own, uh, anything that is junk or anything like that with his allowance. And this is the last of his Dr. Thunder that he bought two weeks ago or something so I just let him buy the little cans and kind of let it have it let him have it sparingly I guess you could say on this shelf you can see I have some blackberries back here these are my favorite I love blackberries absolute favorite um, picked Ryan up and went to Chick-fil-a the other day and so I have a wrap in here that I haven't eaten these are my favorite favorite snack they're cherry tomatoes and i have three of them i always at least have two i want to say oh i love these things these are probably the best brand and i also get the angel sweet ones that are back there as well i snack on these i use them in tacos i use them for salad just always have them on hand this is my favorite hummus it's um, a black bean hummus that you can just get at walmart and I love this to snack on. You can see it's about half gone. You can see back there that I have an opened butter and another butter, another butter, and three other things of butter. Yes, all the butter, I know. The butter in the back is actually from Costco and I think that's a really great deal that they have for butter at Costco. I wanna say it's like, Ten dollars for four or five of them something like that and then this is just butter that I had on hand from Walmart so I will be set for a while down here my last shelf is my neighbor actually goes and gets a flat of these eggs for six dollars and every time she goes she gets one for me and they're farm fresh eggs she gets them from a farm uh, locally and we go through eggs like crazy here. So I love having these farm fresh eggs on hand. Um, the only bad thing is usually when she gets them, uh, she puts them right in the refrigerator. If you put them right in the refrigerator, at least what the farmer says, then you have to keep them in the refrigerator. And so I would rather have them out of my counter and not have them in the refrigerator, but once they have been put in there, you have to keep them in there. So that's why they usually live right here. In the back, you'll see there's some uh, hot dogs and they're the Kirkland's hot dogs. And they're the ones you can buy to eat right there in Costco. And I love them. So there's a big package of those. And then this was the last Greek yogurt that I had and I just have it down there. So I know not to open the new ones that I just bought. The other day when I was in the store, I went ahead and grabbed Ryan um, four of these Lunchables because I knew I'd be busy this week. So I grabbed four of them. That is a great treat and they're only like a dollar. Behind that, I always have baking soda in here because I'm 
obsessive and nervous and want to make sure it always smells good. Um, orange juice, we always buy pulp-free orange juice. What's your guys' orange juice? We are definitely pulp-free people. And I usually can go through this much orange juice in at least a week and we're only a family of three. So the guys around here like orange juice. So always have that on hand. I have um, oh, some cookie dough in here that we need to make. Uh, we just made part of it the other day, so that's why it's in this plastic bag. But I love these because we can make them just super quick. I buy this organic hummus from Costco, and I love it because it comes in these little cups. And as you can see, I eat it a lot, and it's a great, perfect size snack, and it's really, really good. I like it. And I usually eat hummus with pretzels, some kind of like crusty bread, um, carrots, celery, whatever I kind of have on hand. Back there, that blue top, that's feta cheese that I get from Costco as well, and that is a really, really, really good price there. We'll go to this bottom shelf right here. I have um, some leftover watermelon from, uh, I've been buying just the slice of watermelon instead of a whole one. I know that's less expensive, but we have less waste that way because I only have a family of three. We only have one child. You have to think a little bit differently, I think, when your family's larger or when your family's smaller. This is just a few leftover pieces and I'm sure it'll be gone in a couple days. Just grabbed these strawberries yesterday. I always buy organic milk and I buy it because it stays fresher for longer. And so I always buy this one. I buy the whole organic because every time I take Ryan to the doctor, they ask me, are you giving him whole milk? Because he needs to gain weight. Instead of buying a separate kind for me and Anthony, we don't really drink milk that much, if at all. So this is basically just buying it for Ryan. I have two things of greens. This is baby spinach and spring mix. And then this is baby spinach and arugula. And I have a couple of cans of biscuit dough in the back. Uh, my child and my husband both love salads, and so I always try to have this on hand. In fact, my son ate a salad, carrots, and strawberries. That's what he ate for dinner. So um, it's just a family favorite. We really like it. And I think because my husband really likes it, my son really likes it. So I try to keep at least one of these on hand. This is my new fave. I'm sure it's not terribly good for you, but oh my gosh, it tastes so good. This one was the first one I tried, the caramel macchiato, and I really, really, really liked it. So I'd fill a cup full of ice and pour this over it. You have to make sure you shake it and everything. And then today I bought the mocha when I went back to the store because I really wanted to try this and it's my new fave. I actually found these at a more expensive grocery store. They were $4.94 and that's kind of expensive I can say for that, but it tastes just like going to Starbucks, but it's in my kitchen and I don't have to leave. So I'm loving that lately, it's my new fave. As you guys can tell, I have three drawers down here and I'll show you what's in here. I usually try to put vegetables, um, any kind of cheese or lunch meat in this drawer and then this drawer is kind of a hodgepodge depending on what I need it for. I wasn't sure about it at first but I really actually like this bottom drawer. So this first one, it has baby carrots because my guys are obsessed with carrots, oh my gosh. I usually have baby carrots and a regular carrot too. I have, as you can tell, two cucumbers in here, a thing of iceberg lettuce, and I always keep this on hand because we have tacos every week. And both my husband and my son love their tacos with just meat, cheese, and lettuce basically. So I always keep iceberg lettuce on hand because that's their favorite and I try to get them to have more nutrition with these so that's why I buy them. I kind of mix it. Don't tell them. Back in the back here you'll see there's a half of a red onion and there's plums. My husband loves plums and I don't know why he hasn't gotten into these yet. Usually they don't last more than an hour. And I have some and I have some cilantro because 
I made pico de gallo for a gathering the other day. So that the, is what's in that drawer. If we come over to this other drawer, this is kind of my meat cheese kind of drawer. I got Fiesta Blend the other day. This is for our tacos. I went ahead and got Pizza Blend the other day because I found this really fun recipe where you take Texas toast and um, kind of make it into a pizza. But I needed some cheese. They use mozzarella, but I decided to grab that. And pepperonis. I usually have a bigger thing of pepperonis in here because I like to snack on them for lunch. But I just grabbed these the other day at the store. This I always keep on hand. It's chorizo. If you guys don't know what that is, it's Mexican sausage. This is like a Mexican brand. They make cheese and stuff too. It's really, really, really good. It's hard to find where I live for some reason. But we love it. We um, mix it with eggs and tortillas. And oh. It's amazing. So I try to keep some on hand because that is a go-to breakfast, lunch, anything really. Over here in the cheeses, I just have some good old-fashioned American cheese. And I usually have lunch meat in here. But my husband's getting ready to go out of town, so I did not replenish the lunch meat. But he likes just the good old-fashioned, you know, cheap I mean, he'll get mad if I buy the name brand. He's like, don't waste money on the name brand on me. So he likes this good old fashioned American cheese with just ham or something like that. I usually buy ham for him. These are, these are actually Colby Jack sticks of cheese. And um, I had to buy them. I was making a pasta salad and I could not find any brick cheese. So I had to grab these and now Ryan loves them. But I actually ended up just cutting this up and nobody knew any wiser. And now we really like them. So um, I just kind of keep the box in here and I replenish the box as needed. All right, this drawer is kind of meant for like platters and stuff. But when I don't have parties going on or gatherings, I use it and most of the time I put a lot of water in it. I have no idea why I put water in it, but it just seems to work really well. So as you can tell, I have six waters in here. I like my water at room temperature, but I know when people come over, I want to offer them water and I always try to make it cold. Um, I have two packs of zucchini and squash and this is my favorite vegetable ever. So I just got these a few days ago. I have hot dogs in here for my son because that is his absolute favorite. He thinks that's like the best treat in the whole world is to have hot dogs for lunch. You would have thought it was gold. It's really hilarious. I always have wine in here. I never drink wine though. I always think it's a good idea and then I want Diet Coke instead. But in case I need it, I'm going to keep it in here. Um, this one is a cupcake Moscato and this one was gifted to me. It is a cherry Moscato. So you can tell I like a Moscato wine. But again, I never drink them. They'll stay in there for months. I, this I know has been in here before I moved four months ago and this came as a gift right after I moved and it has at least been four months. So what can you do? Uh, you can tell in my doors that I probably have very similar stuff to what you guys have in your doors. We'll start over here. These are just salad dressings. I always seem to accumulate tons of salad dressing. I don't know why. So I have ranch, Caesar. Um, that's another Caesar. That's another ranch. Um, I have relish in here because I really like relish. A mustard. This is zesty Italian salad dressing. I use these name. This is the name brand from Food Lion and or the cheapest brand. I don't know if it's their name brand, but I use it for marinades. And it says great for marinades and most of the time I use the cheapest one I can find if I'm doing a marinade because you can't really tell you just can't um, this is some real bacon pieces I use this in salads a lot and I'm I'm always like at least once a week I'm making a dish to take somewhere and my go-to is to make a really big salad and everybody likes it I put a bunch of stuff in it so I always keep things like that on hand up here I have some um, just great value orange marmalade and I bought this for a recipe I want to I can't remember what recipe it is I think it's a pioneer woman um, 
roast recipe that you put this in, if I can recall. And so as soon as I open something like that, I leave it in here. This is my favorite salsa. It's called Green Mountain Gringo and the mild salsa tastes amazing. So I keep this on hand and I use it in my baked chimichanga recipe, which I will have videoed for you guys. So I'll link it up here. Uh, this is hosen sauce and I used this for a recipe. I should probably get rid of it because I don't see myself using it, but you know how it is. You kind of keep stuff for a little bit to see if you'll use it again. I always have lime juice and I usually buy this kind of lime and lemon juice. I usually have lemon juice in here too, but I don't right now. This is my little sneaky treat, raspberry dark chocolate. And there are all these Snickers bars in here, guys. No joke. And this was a gift from the youth leader at church to my son. He gave him five Snickers bars because I went with the youth group to a camp for five days. So he gave them to Ryan and told him that this was his gift because one Snickers bar for every day that we got to keep his mom. So, um... There is four in here, so who knows if these will get eaten. I'm just waiting to see if maybe, but anything that we have candy-wise, there was a Mr. Good Bar in here earlier too, so everybody's got a stash, right? I usually get uh, minced garlic and keep it in here, uh, just Parmesan cheese and keep it in here, pain relievers or anything like that I keep right over here, so usually I have Tylenol and um, ibuprofen on hand. You just never know with the kids, you know? Ketchup, I have one, two, three ketchups, guys, I swear. Ketchup is a hot commodity in my house. The guys here, the guys in my house will eat it with every dinner, I swear. Even if it doesn't seem like a ketchup dinner, they'll put ketchup on their meat. This is some sweet honey barbecue sauce and it's half gone because I have a recipe where you use half the bottle and it's a, I don't think I filmed it for you guys, but it's a really good chicken recipe that makes shredded chicken that you usually put over a baked potato. Yellow mustard, um, some paste salsa, another thing of yellow mustard and some Duke's mayonnaise because we live in the South and that is a favorite in the South. This last one is this very funny shelf. I have caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, um, French vanilla creamer. I just bought this creamer because I think this one's pretty old, I can't remember. I usually, if I'm wanting caffeine, I usually drink Diet Coke, but I have since went to caffeine free and so I've been drinking a little bit more coffee and I wasn't 100% sure what the date on this was the other day when I was in the store, so I got a new one. And then have a rock star on hand. I know these are terrible, but sometimes you just need a rock star. All right guys, here's my freezer. It is terribly unorganized, and I will tell you pretty quickly what's in here. Nothing probably too out of the ordinary. It has this top shelf. I thought I would really love a freezer like this. I have found out that I don't. I have corn on the cob, frozen corn on the cob. Um, these are sausage patties, like breakfast sausage patties. There is some ice cream in the back and um, just a couple of these frozen things for my child uh, for quick meals. I always grab this kind of beef when I want beef for the week. Um, I have a stash of hot dogs in here. These are a go-to for my child. It's a great lunch. It's not the most healthy, but it is a go-to. He really doesn't even like the fries. He just really likes the chicken, but they're like 90 cents, so it works out really good in my favor. I have empanadas and tamales in here all the time. I keep like a stockpile, basically. And under there, I have um, some hamburger buns that I froze. I have two things of frozen green beans. I always get the steamable vegetables. I don't know why. And I always have bread frozen in here. Um, this is the kind I've been buying lately. It's the white 
made with whole wheat and it's a Sara Lee and I freeze bread often and I usually have uh, more like four loaves. <laughs> but right now I just have one. As you can tell, I thought I would really like it, but I find it very hard to put things in here. So I have pot stickers, because that's a favorite of mine. That's like a go-to lunch for me. Um, microwave steamable broccoli. Meatballs, because we do spaghetti and meatballs probably once a week, because that's my child's fave, fave, fave. Um, a thing of chicken breast. These are some beans that I made and froze. I have a whole roast chicken and I have a really good recipe for that. I'll have to share that with you guys. Uh, this is Texas toast that I bought the other day to make these really cute um, pizzas out of. And so that's in there. And it, the box kind of got a little wonky. Show you guys the other side. I have these frozen guys for my son and I got him kind of stocked up on frozen stuff when I went out of town so that's why there's more than usual um, but they didn't he didn't end up needing them uh, there is this is this is a thing of tamales that my neighbor makes and I freeze so I love those this is a little fire truck ice pack because with kids you always need one of these I think I got it at the dollar store but literally if you're having a kid, have little kids, anything like that, buy this at the dollar store, put it in your freezer, you will love it. The rest of this down here is all chicken. These are two chicken thighs. And I usually try to stock up on meat when it's on sale. So I, we really need to do like an eat through our freezer kind of challenge. I just haven't been home a lot this summer. We've been busy. And these are all chicken breasts that I have separated and froze into quantities that works best for my family which is usually two to three chicken breasts depending on what I'm making so that is what's in my freezer at the moment all right guys so that is it for my refrigerator tour I really do like this refrigerator I love the fact that the two doors on top and the freezer on the bottom I um, like the setup. I don't necessarily like the freezer. I think it's hard to fit stuff in. It's hard to organize for some reason, but it might just be me. I don't know. So if you guys have any good tips or tricks about um, having a lower freezer like that and how to organize it, I just don't feel like I have as much room as I normally would. It might just be me though. I decided guys, since this video got so long, because you know me, I'm a talker. That's just how I am. I decided to do a separate video of just what was in my pantry so I will link that above and you guys can go over and check that out now thank you so much for understanding I just didn't want to give you a huge long video so anyway that's my refrigerator tour I'm so glad you guys came over and hung out today and saw what was in my refrigerator um, if you have any questions or you want to know recipes or want me to do any cook with me videos on the stuff that I was telling you that I make, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye.